Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Ranger work involves many things regarding animals, nature, and people. If one isn't kicking over the traces, the other one is. But that's what makes being a ranger a good life. Oh, there's a monotonous lot of work, too. Every year we have to count wildlife herds and flocks and spend days riding the countless trails and fire lanes to keep an eye on things. But not too infrequently we run into something different and unusual. And that's what happens in our story today. Let's call this one... Terror on Finger River. We're in the Finger River country now. The Finger River is called by this name because of the many backwater areas that branch off the river. The Finger River itself runs into the Pacific Ocean, and for several miles in from the sea, it has a mixture of fresh and salt water. It's a great fishing river because of the numerous fingers that run off the main river and make excellent fishing and also hunting areas. A series of events took place that demanded our activities on the Finger River to begin. There's the marker, boy, Pablo! Si, senor Paul. That trot line ought to yield a good catch. See, si, it should. This is a good place. Okay, drop anchor while I get the sacks ready. Si, senor. Here's your gloves. Pablo, begin hauling the line now? Yeah, I'll unload the hooks. Are you ready, senor? Pull it in. Hey. Look at the hook. Only the head is there. Hey, I wonder what scavenger fish is around here. Pull up the next one. Si, senor. Jumping swordfish. Another one the same way. I hope the whole line is not like this. Well, haul it in. We'll find out. There he goes, Rod. Good shot, Rod. <laughs> Thanks. Some mornings it does pay to get up. One more and I've got my limit. Hey, there goes another one. Well, I guess that does it this time. I guess we might as well retrieve our birds and go home. You said it. No sense sitting out here in the blind when we've bagged our limit. Yeah, right. Although it's a lot more comfortable wearing these new type insulating suits than it used to be. <laughs> Remember how we used to Ooh. shiver and shake? Do I? I chipped all the enamel off my teeth because I couldn't stop chattering. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and climb in the boat. I'll hand this stuff to you. Whoops. Oh, watch it. You get seasick there. <laughs> Everything aboard, Commodore? Yeah, yes, sir, Admiral. You can shove off now. Uh, maybe you'd better untie the boat first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd better. Oh, boy, that's sure. It looks a far, long way from here. Yeah, it sure does. Well, take her away. Steer me to the birds. We've got seven of them to pick up. Uh, a little bit to the right. Yeah, that's good. Now, lift your right oar, and I'll pick up the bird as we go by. What was that, Ben? Ben, what was that noise? Is something wrong? Why, why you're white as a sheet. Where's my gun case? Ben, you know we never carry a working gun in the boat. We are this time, friend. What's the matter with you? You're nervous as a cat. Hey, don't point that gun at me. Uh, sorry. Sorry. What did you see come out of the water? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Ben, what was it? A barracuda. Well, a barracuda? Yep, it, it, it came out of the water like a flash. It, it grabbed the bird and took off. I saw its head. 
It's got a long mouth, and it was open. A row of needle teeth all along the top and the bottom. Well, we made pretty good time, don't you think, Max? There ain't got no argument there, Art. Sure beats walking. <laughs> yep, that it does. Even beats running. I'll circle low over the cove. We'll land and taxi to the dock. Hey, you're running this flying machine. Just get us down one hunk. I don't hanker after no bath. It ain't <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> hey, what's that big thing in the water? Where? Right below us. Great Scott, what is it? You tell me. Or I'll circle around again so we can get a better look at it. It ain't no log, that's for sure. It's got to be a fish, because we ain't got no gators around here. I'll try to get lower here so we can take a good look. Great horny toad. It sure is a monster. Never seen any fish that big in the Finger River. Look at it. Just lollygagging around there. Why? Why, it must be six or seven feet long. But you're right. Never had anything that size in the Finger River. I'll come around for a landing. The floats hitting the water will scare it off. You know something, Art? Uh, about that big fish, that is? Why, you think you recognize it, Max? Uh, not for certain, but it appears to me as it might be one of them there barracuda monsters. You really think so? Well, I ain't for certain, but I know if it is. If it's one of them barracuda fish, we're in trouble. Them fellas has got a mouth full of razor blades for teeth. It didn't take but a few hours for the stories of the three groups of men to get around the town of Finkers. Soon, most of the fishermen and the hunters were gathered in a supply store called the Trading Post. It's the usual practice for these sportsmen to gather here and compare notes and listen for tips and where the best fishing and hunting is. But on this day, the gathering had a different purpose. It wasn't the usual joking and good-natured talk that usually goes on at the trading post. All right, all right. Hold it down, everybody. Paul, you say that five of your trot lines had the fish bodies bitten right off and the heads remained on the hook? That's right, Rod. Something big took after the hooked fish. Uh, Pablo... Bring that line over here and show the boys. See, si, Senor Paul. Here, Senors, is what is left of a good day's catch. Oh, no, 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 no. Great day in the morning. Some of these fish are pretty big and are bitten clean in two. Oh, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Lost every one of them. Must have been the same monster that grabbed off our ducks and almost got Ben's hand to boot. What did this thing look like, Senor Ben? It was a big and long fish, Pablo. Well, how long was it? Well, that I couldn't say for sure, but I did see the head and the open jaws. And I still think it was a barracuda. How could it be a barracuda this far up the river? That ain't no yarn Ben's telling you fellas. Ah, did you see it, Max? Why do you know, Max? Did you see it? I sure did, Paul. Me and Art came into the cove in Art's plane. And there it was, as big as life, lollygagging in the water right below us. And took off as soon as the floats hit the water. That's the truth, men. We saw it. Oh, I'd say it was six or seven feet long. Oh, that's that's bad. Bad. That's Senors, this is very bad for all of us. I agree with Pablo, but how can we be sure it's a barracuda? Yeah, that's yeah. just what I say. Let's not jump off the deep end until we know for sure. I think we can give you the proof. Huh? What, you uh, what kind of proof, Max? Art and I seen something when we was walking over here that'll give you all the proof you need, Ben. Well, where is it? Back along the river bank. Let's go take a look. Yeah, yeah come on. Let's go. Oh, that poor dog. He really got it. He looks like he's been shredded with a thousand razor blades. Yeah. We asked for it, Max. Man, I've seen all the proof I need. Nobody's gonna get me on the river now. The next
next time it might be one of us. Now, Max says he's almost sure it's a barracuda. Well, I ain't for certain, but pretty nearly so. If it ain't a barracuda fish, I'll eat that tame tail and all. How can we fight and kill a barracuda? Well, some of us aren't living off this yeah. river. How about calling the rangers? Yeah, why not? I hear that the boss r ranger Bill Jefferson's a pretty smart hombre. Well, see, Senor Ben, I hear many good things about him. Well, let's call him in. In the meantime, we'd better pass the word for everybody to stay away from the river. The Barracuda scare is spread faster than lightning up and down the Finger River. And I can't say that I could blame those folks for their panic. Well, Max called me and told me about the monstrous fish that was raising so much havoc. I've known Max for a long time. Stumpy has known him ever since the two men were lads. We knew this was no joke. Old-timers like Max don't joke about matters of life and death. The boys and I moved fast to get to the town of Fingers, not only because of the panic, but also a lot of men and their families would be without income since they earned their bread and butter from the river. The Finger River Monster had to be gotten rid of, and quickly. We took off in a helicopter, equipped with floats, and headed for the Finger River country and the Barracuda Fish. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> the river is as empty of people as the front of church on Monday morning. It sure is strange. The Finger River is always busy with boats and people. I don't see a living soul near the water anywhere. Yeah, looks like the Barracuda Scare is taking a real hold. Spread up and down the river. Well, that's true, but maybe it's a good thing. Mm, how do you mean, Tom? Well, maybe it's better that nobody goes in or on the water until that vicious fish is caught. It might attack people. Yeah, especially a child. You're right, Tom. Perhaps it's better to have everybody scared away than to take the risk of a tragedy. I wonder what kind of a fish it is. It's so large and so savage. Hey, there's the trading post. Uh, we'll land on the edge of the river next to it. Well, what if the fish attacks the copter? <laughs> It'll sure have stomach trouble trying to digest this contraption, especially when it comes to the motor. Them there piston rods and the crankshaft and give a feller acid indigestion. Is that the whole story now, gentlemen? Uh, all the facts? You have it all, Bill. Every gory detail. Now that you got them, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Got to do some action. well, first of all, I want to tell you that this vicious fish is not a barracuda. Well, how do you know that, Bill? Max and Art and I have seen a monster, and it looks just like a barracuda. Well, how about it? A barracuda is strictly a saltwater fish, and it has to be tropical water as well. It would be impossible for a barracuda to survive in these cold waters. Ah, well, how about that? At least we know that it's not a man-eater. Do we really know that, Senior Art? Well, Pablo, I guess you've got a point. But anyway, it's a relief to know that it's not a barracuda. Well, what is it then? What other kind of fish can be so savage? Yeah, I'd swear on a stack of Bibles that it's a barracuda. Oh, I saw its mouth. Well, we didn't see it as close as we wanted to, but it is big, that's for sure. Hey, Henry, uh, get yourself some paper and a pencil. I want you to do some artwork. Sure, right away. I wonder what he's up to. Huh? Oh, I wonder <laughs> what he's up to. What's running around in your brain cell, sonny? Stumpy, I'm going to have Henry draw a picture of a certain large fish. Oh, and the men can identify it. Right. What do you want me to draw, Bill? I'll sit right down here at the table, Henry. Sure. There you are. Uh, ben, Max, Art, uh, gather around here. And we'll try to draw a picture of this fish. All right, All right, okay, we'll right. see. All right. Uh, draw a garfish, pal. Huh? Garfish? Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, just memory a wee bit, sonny. 
Long, narrow mouth, four, five feet long, real thin. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I, I think I can remember here. I'll have it done here in short order. Mm -hmm. Say, that's beginning to look like the fish I saw. Uh, that's it, don't, don't you think, Max? Uh, let's see. Tolerable close, Art. That's, that's tolerable close. Uh, draw a top view, pal. Okay. That is one wicked-looking fish, Senor Bill. That's a wicked fish, period, Pablo. They're great loafers and launchers, except when hungry or angry or afraid. There. It's all finished. Mm -hmm. That's a close likeness of the garfish. Well, man, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, one of my life. Yeah. Well, Ben, oh. Max, Art, uh, what do you say? Is this the Finger River monster or no? Uh, I say uh, yes and no, Bill. Well, make up your mind, you old weasel. Uh, hush up, you old badger, and let me cogitate a while. <laughs> that might be good for you, whatever it is. Uh, there's something missing, Bill. I agree with Max. How about if it were a couple of feet longer and uh, wide across the back? Mm. Yes, yes, that would do it. That, that's the fish I saw. What is it? An alligator garfish. <laughs> now we knew what we were up against. The savage, vicious alligator garfish. This large, freshwater fish can be docile and sleepy one minute or one hour or one day and become a hated and feared marauder the next. The crowd of men passed looks of fear between themselves because they'd seen the poor dog that was a victim of the big gar. Max asked us to walk down to the river with him and look at the dog. And Paul wanted us to look at his trot lines. A few of the crowd went with us as we walked down to the river bank where the men cast anxious eyes at the water. Something wrong with your revolver, old-timer? No, I'll be just making sure it's ready for business in case that monster happens to come cruising by. Yeah, I know what you mean. Over here, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Great day in the morning. That poor howl looks like he met up with a grizzly. Oh, I'll say. Could a... Gator Gar do that, Bill? I'll say he could. He's got the teeth for it. It ain't a pretty sight, ma'am, but I thought you might want to see him before we bury what's left of the poor little critter. Thanks, Max. Now, Pablo, let's see your trot lines. See, si, senor. Follow me. Have a look, seniors. Boy, look at that, will you? Every one bit clean off, just behind the head. Mm. It takes sharp teeth and big jaws to do that good a job. How many trot lines did he clean off for you? Five, senor. Almost a whole day's catch. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, alligator guards don't hang out in these northern waters, do they? No, Art, they don't. They like warmer water. Uh, how did this one get this far north? Well, my guess is that somebody brought the fish north when it was small and released it in the Finger River. Well, how could it survive the winters? I don't know, Art. But the fact remains it has. Now it's our job to catch that monster and catch him fast. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we got this big old flat-bottom boat. It's heavy and slow, but 
Well, it'll give us protection just in case that big guard decides to try and dump us. Hey, mind just do that, too, Henry. And he gets you all fired hot under the collar. You said it. He can be a mean customer when he wants to. How are we going to catch this guy? We'll troll for him, Henry. But we don't even know where he hangs out. And trolling might take days. Yes, pal, it might take a lot of days. But we've got to get him. I'll take the oars now, pal. Okay, they're all yours. Boy, my hands are sore from rolling this tub. Well, here's one pair of gloves wore plumb through the middle. Well, I'll take the oars now, Stumpy. Let's see if we can wake the big fellow up. I wonder if that big fish ever gets hungry. He will someday. Sometime, pal. And we want to be there when the time comes. Phew! Anything as hard to row as this ought to be power-driven. Yeah, you said it. But an outboard might scare the monster off. Let's try that cove. He might be in there. Boy, if he is... I think I'll jump in and wrestle and bear him just to get it over with. Well, this doesn't bring results. We'll go in for a rest. Strike! Hey, Bill, huh? you gotta strike! Look at that pole bend! Give him slack, sonny! Let him take it! Yeah. It's a big one, all right. I hope it's the gar. It is, Bill. There he is over there near the surface. Wow, what a monster. Watch it, fellas. I'm going to set the hook. Oh, oh I lost him. Oh, how come? He had it. I know he did. He was just playing, Sonny, like a muskie. He was holding the bait in his teeth, real gentle-like. When Bill tried to set the hook, that big gar just let go of it. Not only is he vicious, but smart, too, huh? Uh, you said it, Henry. We'll get him yet. All right, let's go in for a rest. We'll try again early in the morning. He'll be too jumpy now to take the bait again. Bill, when are you fellas going to get that thing? Uh, tomorrow, we hope, Ben. We had him once today, but... I tried to set the hook too soon, and... Yeah, I just let go of the bait. Well, I hope it's tomorrow. You know, all the folks who fish for a living are getting pretty low on money. Their families will go hungry soon if they can't go back to work. Yeah, I understand, Ben. Well, we'll go back out first thing in the morning and stay out until we get him. Thanks, Bill. Bud Forrester saw what was left of an otter up near Shinny Cove yesterday. The otter and the gar must have tangled. Yeah, could be. An otter can beat a dog fighting in the water, but ain't no match for that thing out there with no. razor blades no. for teeth. Under the pier. It's under the pier. Huh? I saw it. Stumpy, get old Betsy. Come on, fellas. Look at that, will you? He's lazing in the shade of the pier there. How are you going to get him? This is the best chance you'll ever get. Is there a spear gun handy? Sure, but not big enough to hold that thing. Well, get me some wire. Some heavy wire on the double. I know where there's some. I'll fetch it right sudden. Now, this is a slim chance, but here's what I'm going to do. I'll carefully drop this wire loop down in front of him. Then you fellas stomp on the shore, good and hard. He'll feel the vibration and leave. If he swims through the wire hoop, we've got ourselves a fish. Okay, Sonny. Yell when you're ready. 
Come on, fellers, we'll go ashore and hold an engine war dance. And on a scary model. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how am I doing, Henry? Fine, fine. Whoa, whoa. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay. Whoa, whoa, that's good, right there. Okay, fellas, start stomping. Hey, he's coming out! He's coming out! Hey, I got him! I got him! Get stumpy to shoot him! He's coming now! Well, I'll be... I must have hit the wire and got away! Of all the dumb clucks I made, he got clean away! Take it easy, old-timer. He got away, but not clean. Huh? What do you mean? Blood in the water. That rifle slug struck pay dirt. Hey! There he is! Over there! He's flopping near the shore! You're right, Sonny! He's hit! And hit bad! Let's get over there and finish him off! Good work, old-timer. It's about time. Anyhow, we won, even though it was a stand-em-up-and-slap-em-down scrap. Look at that mouth and those teeth. He was able to do a lot of damage with that equipment. Yep. You said it, Tom. Boy, at last we got him. Now things can return to normal on the river. Yes, pal. The river monster is dead. That, boys and girls, was one of our most unusual experiences as forest rangers. Everything's quiet now on the Finger River, and I hope it stays that way. Uh, by the way, I've got that alligator gar stuffed and mounted and on display right here in headquarters. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger! Stumpy Jenkins, speaking for Ranger Bill, and saying don't forget to hit the trail with us every week at this time for lots of exciting adventure with all the Ranger gang. Henry Scott, and Grey Wolf, and Bill, of course, and me, the old-timer, are all on hand from time to time to bring you the best stories we can find. So you tune in to Naughty Pine and learn the latest that's happening around the Ranger Station. Or in the mountains and forests nearby. Or maybe even someplace further away. Because that young feller Bill gets into all kinds of situations and troubles and complications when he's trying to help somebody else. So you be sure to join up with us next week for this half hour of storytelling. And then you won't lose out on anything that's going on. I'll be looking for you. So don't disappoint me.